Hey Natural Beauties, it's Curly Kimmy Star and I have a product review. I'm so excited because in the mail today, actually it's not really a product review, it's kind of a um, first impression review, which is my first time doing. Um, because I got in the mail Black Friday, um, some of you guys know that follow me or that, um, uh, not follow me, but um, have liked my page on Facebook, you guys know that I got um, this new Curl Junkie Gel. I ordered it and it came in the mail today. I was so excited because Monday um, is always my day that I do my hair. So I was like, oh. So I hadn't done it earlier in the day and I was like, great. And it came in the mail. I was like, oh, I'm going to try the new gel. So anyway, here it is. It's called Pattern Pusha. And it is by Curl Junkie, and it is a brand new gel. She just started selling it on Friday. I don't know if she's still selling it. I sent her a message on Facebook. I haven't heard back yet. So I don't know if she was just selling on Friday, and then it's now added to her whole product line, or if she's going to bring it back later. I don't know. I'm not really clear. But in any case, um, I got it on Friday. It came in the mail today. And as you can see, my hair is wet. I have a no makeup, nothing. I just did my hair, got out of the shower. So this is my hot off the presses, totally first impression. So this is just how I feel about this gel at this moment. Okay, so um, I'm gonna read a little bit of the ingredients. It is, let's see, water, um, cornstarch, slippery elm bark extract, green tea extract, um, and some other stuff I can't pronounce. I'm going to put it in the box below, the comment box, so that you can check out the ingredients. Um, but they are all natural ingredients. The smell, I've been smelling it since I got it. I cannot figure it out. I cannot put my finger on it. Usually I can get some type of description, but I, I don't, I don't know. You know what it reminds me of? And whoever, anybody else who got this gel, please comment below. Um, it, you know what, it kind of reminds me of cucumber. It's not too strong, it's not, too sweet it's not and I was actually a little disappointed because I really wanted to love the smell and I heard about the new gel I'm such a smell freak I was like my first thought was oh I wonder if it has a good smell instead of is it gonna work for my hair I just wanted to know what it smelled like and I was just disappointed it smells kind of like cucumber um, mildly sweet but not really it's just kind of mild I mean it's you know, it's not an amazing smell, but it's not offensive at all. I mean, it's just kind of like, if you like cucumber, cucumber is fine. You know what else I kind of reminded me of? Um, cantaloupe. You know, just kind of that, you know, I don't know. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, enough about the smell. It's not offensive, so you, you won't not get it just because of the smell. Okay, so here is what it looks like. Can you see it? It is a super thick gel, but you know what? It is not sticky at all. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, you can see, I don't know, it's hard to tell, and now I'm spilling it. But it is not sticky at all. You can see, it's when I'm separating my fingers, it's totally separating. It's not lingering at all. It's not sticky, which is really nice for a gel. I'm so used to super sticky gels. Um, so it's got a really nice consistency. And I did my hair like I normally do, guys. I did a wash and go. I was actually going to do a twist out today and do my grease thing, but I got this gel, so you know I had to try it. Um, so I did my regular, I used every product I usually use. In fact, no, I'm sorry, I take it back. Today I did my deep conditioning treatment. So I used my Carol's Daughter Rosemary Mint Clarifying. I did my Jessie Curl Weekly Deep Conditioning Treatment, and then sat under the dryer, and then did my um, Diva Care One or Diva Curl One Condition leave-in. I use that as a leave-in. I've been using that a lot lately, so I was like, let me just stick with that. It's what I've been using. It's been working great uh, with the weather, so let me not ch change anything to make sure that I can get an exact, honest review about what I'm, the new thing I'm trying. So, um, okay, so I separated my hair like I normally do. I put in, you know, smoothed it through my hair, and it's so not sticky. I can't even tell you how amazing that is, and it feels really light. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It says that it's a medium firm hold um, but it is not heavy feeling in fact as I'm putting it through my hair I'm like let me use a little more because I wasn't quite sure I was really getting it in um, but so again my hair is still wet so I don't know when it dries you know obviously my hair gets bigger um, I'll be able to tell more about how it feels when it's dry does it feel crunchy whatever because now it just feels wet and normal but um, 
you know, it really it went on really nice. I put a you know good amount of my hair, but I didn't feel my shoulders didn't feel sticky, my fingers didn't because a lot of times right after you do your hair, you're like, I gotta wash my hands, this stuff is sticky. Nothing, none of that. It it feels it's real goes on really clean. It feels really clean in your hair. Um, and the smell doesn't really linger. I mean, I can, in fact, I can barely, barely smell it in my hair. Um, so, so far so good. I'm really impressed. Um, I like the consistency. I like how it went on my hair. Again, it feels really light. My hair doesn't feel way down at all. And um, if you can see my hair here, it's not reacting with the Diva Curl 1 condition. My hair seems to be not really frizzy yet. Okay, so y'all, my main frizz area that always gives me difficulty is like right in here. It's like this hair loves to frizz. The rest of it, you know, for the most part, it will frizz, but it's like this section is always the hardest. So I'm like, okay, what is this doing? And that will tell you. And now that I'm washing this, I'm like, I need to take a look in the mirror. Like, okay, what's it doing now? Because my hair is not dry. So far, so good. I don't know. It looks like it's getting a little bit of frizz. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. So this is, again, this is just a first impression. Uh, so far, so good. It costs $24, and it's 16 ounces. So it's a pretty good price for all-natural gel. And I think that's all I have to say about it. Oh, I did get 20% off the Black Friday sale, so I was excited to take advantage of that. Um, and try a brand new product. So if you have any questions, let me know. I am going to be doing a follow-up video. I'm going to try, I'm going to dry, I'm going to probably sit under the dryer because it's late tonight. Um, so I don't want to go to bed with super wet hair. So I'll sit under the dryer um, and see how it does in the morning. And then I will use it again probably on Thursday and see how my hair reacts to it. And then once that happens, then I'll, I'll send, I'll do an official review of the product of exactly how I feel about it because you know I may have done something wrong or maybe it's a fluke and whatever my my initial um, results are aren't necessarily exactly the full results of the product so um, if you guys have any questions again please let me know about this product I just wanted to come on give you a really quick really quick review even though I look crazy and I'm like my hair is stopping wet but hope you guys are having a great night and I will talk to you guys on the next video bye